agira obulagizi ekyo kukola buli kisera nategeza nti kino kyandiretera abebibine ebirala okuwangula ebife ebiwera the only problem i see mu nrm tulowoza ino kusitulwa buli gantu abantu balowoza ino balowoza ino buli sawo kuba kwa bantu mujje mukole kino mujje mukole kino mujje mukole kino while the other party bali buli sawo ro kuba balowoza anti benda okutusigu ku ro kuba mpate boba kozesa na amani gona gona go mbuto but i'm sure ntiyo wagize tukali nabo we still have support okusingira lamba chala tuida kusobola okuwangula mutuogerera ebine ebyenjaulo byafuna da ba candidate abo kubikwatira bendera mu kalulu kanu akatamanyidwa d rikagenda kubao oluvanyuma lwa kachiko kebyo kulonda okukai Ati maugida malala, ngo bula bilizi kuchage na maso nukso na nsimbi ya zoku maliriza echi zimbe cha mission house. Awa kulida etende kuruli ya government, eliti wa Uganda Institute of Information and Communication Technology na kawa. Nabo bavudeyo ni baso honda nsimbi ya zisuse mubu kade kumi. Bula mbilida, nebazi kwa sobula bilizi zigende elio mwini mugu wa mkama guno. Awa kuzimba echi zimbe chino kwa tandika mwa kugwa nkumi bili kumi na muenda. Nga cha kwa mentu mbumbi wa nsimbi butano na inga utuwa gilida kati, awa kristayo waka sonda kwa nsimbi mbi ezili ya yombu mbi busatu na umusobi mbi osi da da uchu wash me from this new time Aba kulide tende kelele ya government ya Uganda Institute of Information and Communication Technology na kawa. Na wabu ya gase kubakuli stayo wa muna abazila kisaba wala mbula bilizu wena mirembe. Weba sonze nsimbi ya zisobi ya mbuka dekumi na bazi wayo kumalizu wa mulimogu wa mkama. Ugo kuzimba miso ni house na mirembe. Kusimbi zino etende kelele ya wade ya mbuka dekutanu. Ataba kuzi na bawa ya mbuka dekusoba mbutanu. Aba kulide tende kelele ino okubade senkuru wali ya Dr. Fred Lichitoke. Wa mune memba uli chiko lufuzi. Professor Tone Oyana, bebo kwa sizen simbi zino muwandi suwa bula bilizi, kanoni Henry Segawa, wamuna haba kulide chitongole cha miso ni ukubade Reverend Samuel Muonge, ne Reverend Abraham Lubega Kisachi. Omukoro kubade kutende kire nakawa, ilagu kulembe duamu okusaba. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much Governing Council for this spirit. Obola bilizi bwaba kana ne dimu lyo kuzimba kizimba kino mu 2010 muenda nga kyaba lirirwa ku emmento obumbi butano bitwogerera nga bakulistayo wamuna abazira kisamo yo wamukama asobodde okubalungamya ne basondo obumbi obusobye mbusatu nga bwa kazimba emyalire na kwejeta anwe kyaba lirirwa okubera ku kizimba kino byonna bwe bigenda obulungi obola bilizi busubirwa ku maliriza no kutongoza kizimba kino mu September wo mwaka guno Edward Collins yuko ane nakawa Wabale nyo Edward Colin Juko ati ya baizo kuwa matende kila gawa gulu bafu nyo kutende kibwa Awamu nobu kuguna delambi obu limi nobu lunzinga Wawere duwa magezi okufokula banga bakula echi sobo kacho na Okuchu sobo la mbuwa wantu wa wangala na bomo Bitundu ya webi nja ulo nga baita mkuba tendeka na dalabo Abagendo ganyuru wa monteka teka Iti duwa parish development modo eyo kula kula nya imiruka Bino bioge duwa minister wa kampala umubezi Christopher kabuye chofa tugabie Abade kumatikira agetende kilulia na kaseke technical institute aga soke didala enabaisi ya wakunu kiliza mchukumu mwabili bebati kidua nga wakuguse mbituwebi nja ulo omuli okurunde nsolo nebi nyonyi okuli memuanyi nebi bala ibidala bibagenda okuita mokuchu sogula mbwaba na Uganda Mwangu Johnny Innocent Senyonjo Gerard Kayanja De David Use the competence knowledge skills and positive, as, positive attitude you have achieved from Nakaseke Technical Institute to help yourself, your communities, and the nation to advance. Aba naba nungabu tu fulumiza wa na inambe bade singa kubaba na bibiri muatano. Ndozaba na ngachiku muabili bwona babade basumi vya avulimi. Katiecho chiku laga, ntijeba fulumie. Biba genda ato kubaila impajiru waga mkusome sanu kubangula banawe abagenda okwe itabamu enterprise ene biobu ni kubanga nga wano mina kaseke uh, nga enterprise eza alonde duwe vye vye gendo kukolewa mwemuli yovye ente okulunde ente okulunde mbizi e, nkoko okulime mwanyi nebibala nga vayiri na gap oba edivo elili uo elieta uo kuzibikila 
echisoka mubye mirimu echidako ne batunuri omvubu kanga ino ku yimiriza wo mubye mfuna nga asobola kubanga ye yimiriza wo nga tatunuri de government nga ate akolera mu kitundu ki nga tamaze budinga ano nyo mulimu Atine nkola e nago bedirua ama tende kilo gaba somesa ama siniyo kwa ngangobu benje awamu ni hivigo bitalaze ene tumi duwa safe learning environment. Etongo ze duwa kutende kilo wedi ya government ili wangu laba somesa. Nadela ba siniya kwa mutende rogwa diploma ili ya mubende National Teachers College chiri mu district ye ye mubende. Enkola ene vujituta government yu waka baka wabu biliji e kwa taganyi wamu ne ministry ya kuna yu njigiriza. Ngeita mproject ya iti duwa enabel elanga egena kutuwa liwane matende kila malala agali kudara liye bie mirimu okuli muni NTC chisangi wamu arua unyama NTC chino chiri gulu kabale NTC awamu nekaliro NTC. Enkole nepia emanyidwa nga safe learning environment mu matende kila gabangula abasomesa basinia ku mutende la gwa diploma egendereddwa mu kubangula abayizi abasomesa wa muna abakozi ba matende kero ganu obukodi obwo kwanganga ebigwate bilaze gamba ngo muliro obubenje obulwadde ne bilala enteka teke eno esose kutongozebwa ku tende kero lya mubende national teachers college oluvanyuma lwo kubangula abajeta byemo kumalina kunya erange subiru okutwalibwa mu matende kila malalana okuli muni NTC mwaluwa kabale NTC kalilo NTC wa mune unyama NTC eguru ekitongole kya Nabel ku lwa government yo bwa kabaka bwa bubiriji kiite Belgium beba vujirira enteka teke eno nga bayita mu ministry y'ebyenjigiriza ne mizanyo ya Uganda Aba kungulo na dinanjubu wa mune chus pati singoma wa Uganda Road Accident Reduction Network Organization abu wakwa sibu uvuna njibu wa banyo nyora enkola yente katekenu. Uh, Ureno is a company recontracted of training and uku yamba ko colleges ziteke embera jetuali self learning environment mkulichimuche vakola. Ezo NTC tanu kwa gala kozi na aba somesa na aba na aba izi bamanye engenje yinzo kweta namu obutanwa akulire tendekero lino Francis Katerega ayanirize enkole eno kwa roku bidi muwiche eno okutunsa kati nako enako nya abantu somesa watu kwa tika kingenje tusolo okole kokume bizimba bya fenga byonjo Bila bilida ni mita tuka kuo ulave na fefe njini wakozi. Habeta vya mkutende kibwa kuno pala gidua bukodi obu okuta sobula munga chino chikole dua wa polisi wa muna wa red cross. Sobule ni arrest wa? Now if the fire starts there, where is the arrest wa? Hakuna. Hakuna. Montege Kayemu ya Annabelle etende kilo lino elia mwende NTC ya subulo kufune vizimbe vipia wa muna ukudavili zengu vikade ukufune vyu mabia teknoloji ya vipia na vilala. Edward Collins jokuwa na mwende. Muna fe Edward Colin Juko Emubende. Oliku maguli laga UBC Lero, tuliku UBC TV na ila avini mkampala. Watisinzi la butele vokutu saa kwa maguli laga fega na osobolo kusanga kuchibanje cha Facebook oba YouTube genda kubibanje vyo. Teka mu maguli laga UBC Lero genda kubotu wata ulido. Katusuketu mule mkato ntuko meona malala manji tova kwa UBC TV. Nze amina nabule kajimu. Sanyo senyo ni sanyo, sanyo ligila kuhunzita. E mcheni momo teri imba, na lindi waka, nendo kuli ni simweze. Nenga nera vina vivi, vivi avuli jevi ya chifere. Kupanga, mbeda ao mtu nofu ni simu, no gendo kuli ulia tandi se mpanye mitu wala atano, kakati chino. E mcheni weya mkubide, bote vansa vya kuseto, weda bazi kakanya na buka kanya zenga, antabuse nga mamuhuli bafiri. Kuse nandi wano presa zagara kumkuma bukuli. Kusine waka kuturu, tateke mpande mtu kamubi ono, nikati atawa wiki indala. Mwache ni yeba lenyo, okutufako, pengabe bule meziru wero, baba lina waka. Mwache ni momo nyabo, teka kumutese mituwale evili, mbo kusinga uo. Mwache ni momo ya maneyo, oizo kumanda mkisa, ane wangu lina mku Toyota Succeed Sato. Mwamu kuma wangu sen kume bili, mwale weki. Tuka inda kukabe moto kabili mwunya, ne momo ya mani, aso mamu mbombi mbili. Water gives life. 
water is life. But not all water is created equal. Refresh yourself with the new quality Nirvana packaged drinking water and fuel you and your passion to go further in life. Visit a shop near you and grab a 250ml at 500 shillings, 500ml at 1000 shillings, 1.5 litres at 2000 shillings or the 20 litre jumbo bottle Nirvana is a product of Crown Beverages Limited, the makers of Pepsi products. Get connected today with the My Airtel 4G smartphone and enjoy free data for one whole year worth 86,500 Uganda shillings. That's free 2GB for the first month and free 1GB for the next 11 months at only 250,000 Uganda shillings with free data for one whole year worth 86,500 shillings, making the effective price of the 4G phone 163,500 shillings only. Airtel, the smartphone network oh uh, susan i want to propose to rose eh? yes and this time i am serious have you guys had sex duh of course and have you had sex without using condoms hey <laughs> guy you're curious i'm more of concerned are you having sex with other people hey hello uh, is this an interview or what no just things you should think about uh, do you know rose's hiv status okay uh this is serious should I be worried? It is actually serious. Do you know your HIV status? Mm, uh, I think I am safe. <clears throat> Many times we get into situations that put us at risk of HIV. However, the first step to ending HIV is getting tested and knowing your results. It's time up HIV. Call 0800-211-046 or text 8080 toll free for more information about how to prevent HIV. This message is brought to you by Ministry of Health with support from USAID. Be alert. Do not share your Airtel money pin number with anyone. Airtel Uganda employees will never ask for your Airtel money pin number on call, SMS, or by email. All SIM card registrations, SIM card verifications, or SIM swaps are done at clearly branded Airtel shops and not on phone. To report any fraudulent activity, please call 100 immediately. The official calling number for Airtel promotions is 0200. 100 100 stay alert on airtel money instant secure borderless what the book package is he great entertainment tea sports the local board tea tell the movies there is something for everybody everybody go tv this is where our best stories live the best entertainment for any budget with Go TV. You will have great entertainment for as little as 13,000 Uganda shillings per month. Go TV, great stories. Zidi Wano, Go TV Uganda. Love it. Meet Professor Petero. He knows something every hustler in UG is gonna love. Oh, see, you see, I was just trying to uh, get the documents to register for air telemanagement. You don't need the documents, you just said it for register. Oh, What's going on here? He sells things from the shop, and behind my back, he gets the money and gives it to his Google friends. <laughs> <laughs> but just get out of money pay, so that all money comes direct to your business wallet, and only you, the owner, have access to it. Just dial star 185, start 10, start 10, hash, and now you are on. No waiting! <laughs> huh? This insanity is sweet. Give them also. I only take Airtel money pay. It's easy and secure. Yes, become a safer and more efficient cash-free business today. Easy. No mixing your business money with your Kameza money. No, that's efficient. Airtel money. Instant, secure, borderless. <laughs> Mkwaniliza mchuni cha fecho kubili Ati nekulisa mchuni cha fecho Sosi ulikumaulida aga UBC Lero Tuli ku UBC TV 
Ekitundu cha fe echo kubili chitani sine moze gama nti haba lida nyama kumilo gebi solo Bavu deo neba webu wa magezi oku walo kulime vili me Evi sikilizi nsolo zo monsiko oku walo kuteko vla mbu wabu mkati ya baga Obaka bonobu weredu wa senkulu wechitongo lechivuna nziba kubisolo vyo monsiko Echa Uganda Wildlife Authority nga yesam mwanda Haba dembiku jukua chitongo lechino mwishija guliza okweze miaka Habili mweta ane jobu weleza Echitongo lechisimi ya government evi tongo la wamu nama ntusechi nomu Haba chukua siriza kukulaba nga chituka kubu wanguzo wenja ulo Nga chitongo lecha Uganda wala authority Le vana fe vantu uh, bondave tukola gana na voi mkwano ya fe Haba uh, partner sifa fe vona kujegu za miaka evili mutano ejise Chitongo lecha Uganda wala authority Vava chitongo za 1996 Tuwadenga tukola, tuwatandika Nga tulina parks, entono parks za zei ongela yo Kaka tulina parks kumi, tulina reserves kumi ne mbini Tulina ula wetu kolela Emili moja hafi miaka vili mbukutano Jivate vili mbiluji Jivate nga eh, misolo vietu kuma vye yongete ko Okola gana ni nabantu wa community Abadilu wa nabafi na vili vate vili mbiluji Na abala mbili na vate vye yongela Tukose electric fence, tuasimie mkongo Mpaksi za fe kukukuku Mwezi iti, mwezi tu kila mkubantu Nevi dala, nevi dala Evi tuwewe tukia kuyongera mga maanyi Ate na avu, avata wanyi zibu ebisolo bino Tu basaba, batu tu kilire, tu verene ingeri Yotu mbayamba mbakuma Arenga tu bagamba Kuhita matendi ule mitu Fune nongomele ya bitu bagamba Tiso tesikuluma Nebo banga weisi za muna obela Wekate no duka no baku kupe Na wubu kubu vera na inga Kuhali mzimu Kutu ni protect Watu traininga Kuhu mbano 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 k
muguyanja ogwebu yindi nga zole kera egwanga liafe okokosane empewo okuva mugabira ge kongo ze yonge damanya ekire sewo enkuba okutonya wanona wali mu bitundu byegwanga ebitali bimu encha kumacha tusubirayo enkuba okutonya bitundu bye byetorode nyanja na rubale awamu ne mbuchika kono gwanga liafe ebitundu bye biri masekati ne bitundu ebirala iyo tusubira anti akasana kajja kwaka Embere no tuji subiru kuchuka, ero regulo tu subira enkubo kutonya mbitundu vye guanga, evi singo obunjo, kuja kevyo, evili, kurubara marwe nyanja na rubale, yetu subira anti yo umsana kuja kuaka. Ebugu meria wa gulu tuli subiru kutuka kudigris, avili, mumuenda, mubuchika kono vye guanga liafe, songa masekati ke guanga liafe, nevi tundu evi vye burungulu de nyanja na rubale, na nechibuga kampara mochituari de, ebugu meria wa gulu tuli subiru kutuka kudigris, avili, mumunana. Ate yu msozi eze kabale, ebu gumerea wa gulutuli subiru kutuka kudegrizi, haviri mutano. Mbetuwe yongira yu mbibuge ebi muwebili ya busuka nsalo wa wegwanga liafe, mu Nairobi ne mu Paris tusubira obudo kubera uwe chidede. Songa mu Hong Kong tusubira yu enkubo kutonya. Oro mu Dubai tusubira pereketi ya uomu sana. Ngane ebu gumerea wa guluja kutuka kudegrizi, ana mbili. Evi ya vetu kujide mchitongo leche guanga, ichifunanzi wa kumbera yobude, wano kuyu BCTV, na uluna kurencha tulindile mbude webu mu, nze kubiga maiko. The Tales of Kasozi, brought to you by Uganda Communications Commission. Hello, this is Kasozi. How can I help you? Congratulations, congratulations. Oh, one good day. One good day? But I haven't entered any competition. Oh, what day? Since you use your phone every day, we have randomly selected you as one of our loyal customers. And you have won a brand new pickup. Hey, so how do I get this pickup? The pickup is in Namave. All we have to do is quickly bring it to you. You know, we are delivering many of them. So, just send us 100k for fuel via mobile money and we'll bring it to you. But Chief, I'm in no hurry to receive it. Namambe is just here. Keep it at your warehouse, give me directions and I will get time to pick it up. Ah, vow na we. If you don't have money, just say. Don Fera, never send money to strangers. Winners of competitions are contacted through official channels and are never asked to pay for anything. Stay tuned for what Kasozi does next. Tofira, refrain from unnecessary engagement with strangers over the phone. This message is powered by UCC, MTN, Airtel, Bank of Uganda and NPSP Association. This weekend on UBC. Nature's wild homes and cottages is arguably Chanja's best kept secret. My lungs are filled up, they have really opened up. This is more like a healing place for anyone to come. So refreshing with so much oxygen that anybody can breathe in. Like the name says, nature's wild. So we are having, uh, we are having fishing systems. It is a sole proprietorship business that was established by engineer Michael. And it has been undergoing transformation from a homestead into a unique facility with a natural ambience embraced with spab architecture designs that blend well with mother nature man has become so jealous, he wants to stay alone and yet he needs, he needs, the ecosystem is important. All of us need each other, the trees, the plants, the, the snakes, the fish, they all, we all need each other. Meet Professor Petero. He knows something every hustler in UG is gonna love. Oh, see. You say I was just trying to uh, get the document to register for Airtel Management. You don't need the documents. You just say it for register. Yeah. What's going on here? He sells things from the shop, and behind my back, he gets the money and gives it to his Google friends. <laughs> <laughs> but just get out of money pay so that all money comes direct to your business wallet and only you, the owner, have access to it. Just now, star 185, start 10, start 10, hash, and now you are on. No waiting. <laughs> huh? This insanity is sweet. Give them also. 
I only take Airtel Money Pay. It's easy and secure. Yes, become a safer and more efficient cash free business today. Easy. No mixing your business money with your Kameza money. No, that's efficient. Airtel Money. Instant, secure, borderless. Hello and welcome to this special edition of Eco Africa on green transport. And that means today's show will focus on clean solutions for getting people and things from place to place using both modern high tech and traditional means. I am Sandra Twinovdio here in Kampala, Uganda. Thank you for joining us. And a warm welcome from me too. I'm Chris Lems in Lagos, Nigeria. Sustainable transport systems are becoming increasingly important because they play a major role in curbing the speed and severity of climate change. So where do we stand today? And what qualifies as green transport? Here is an overview in our Echo Check. The transportation of people and goods accounts for almost one third of global CO2 emissions. During the coronavirus crisis, emissions dropped from 8.5 to 7.2 gigatons. That figure has to be reduced to 5.7 gigatons by 2030 to meet the Paris Climate Agreement target of 1.5 degrees. Almost half of the CO2 in the transport sector is emitted by cars and other light vehicles at 3.3 gigatons per year. Eco-friendly technologies and better urban infrastructures could allow us to stay mobile while emitting far less CO2. Look at Oslo. Despite growth, CO2 emissions are dropping in Norway's capital. Over 40 measures like car-free zones have helped emissions fall by 25% since 1990. By 2030, the aim is to achieve a 95% drop. Africa sees public transport systems as one solution. In Tanzania's Dar es Salaam, a rapid bus network operates with greener vehicles to reduce congestion and pollution. Africa produces only 4% of the world's CO2 emissions, but it suffers the most from climate change. Yet alternative means of propulsion, such as electricity or hydrogen, are only found in just under 1% of all vehicles worldwide. Inadequate infrastructure is a factor. Consider the hydrogen-powered Popemobile, given to Pope Francis by a Japanese automaker. The range of the vehicle is 550 kilometers, but the nearest charging station is in Milan, 600 kilometers from the Vatican. Electric-powered air cabs and transport drones are also best suited to short distances, but mass production is still a long way off. In the short term, cable cars could also relieve traffic congestion. In Bolivia and in Colombia, they're already integrated into the public transport system. It's an idea that could also work in Berlin or Kampala. I actually think having a cable car here in Kampala would be pretty great, although it could be a while before that really happens. Some of the cleaner technologies are still in the early stages of development, but there are also ways to reduce emissions by making adjustments to existing machines and engines. Here in Uganda and neighboring Rwanda, many roads are overrun by motorbikes, but in the future, they'll be creating a lot less noise and fumes. This is a significant moment for Eric Tuishime. Today, the Kigali motorcycle taxi driver is filling his gas tank for the last time. Soon, he'll swap his combustion engine for an electric one. 
Operating a transport business using an old motorcycle like mine is really difficult. It breaks down a lot, so at times I have more expenses than profit. That's why I'm converting it into an electric motorcycle. But operating costs aren't his only concern. To Ishime has been driving a motor taxi for seven years. He's also aware of the pollution riving his engine creates. So he was glad to take the advantage of a project initiated by the Rwandan Environment Management Authority in cooperation with a UN development program. It aims to phase out traditional engines and retrofit them with electric drives. That's done in this workshop in Kigali. Eric Tuishime received a loan from his taxi cooperative to cover the cost of around 680 euros. That's three months' salary, a lot of money for a small businessman. But he's been assured it's worth the investment. You don't need oil. Our motor are service free. And uh, you don't need service a chain. We don't use chains. All those costs, they are kept by the rider. So to them, it's a, it's a benefit. And for the time being, maintenance is free of charge. So far, around 100 motor taxis have been retrofitted, and demand is growing. I'm receiving big number of orders for not only for new electric bikes, but also the retrofitting of the old bikes. So this is a positive response of the market, uh, on Rwandan market. And even the other countries, neighboring countries are calling me, are asking me about the product. After a few hours, the transformation is complete. Tuishme's motorcycle now runs on two batteries. Each provides power to cover about 60 kilometers. Once they're empty, they can be swapped for charged batteries at a collection point. The empties are picked up by a truck, also e-powered, of course, and then charged at a central location. One charge costs about 76 euro cents. After about 30,000 kilometers, the retrofit starts to pay off due to the savings on gasoline. About 50% of licensed motorcycles in Rwanda are motor taxis. By 2026, Rwanda's Environment Authority wants to see at least half converted to electric drive. All motorbikes were to convert from fossil fuel to electric uh, powered motorbikes. We would be able to save around 9 billion per year. And this is almost 45% of the total amount of fossil fuel that we would be saving as a country. It's certainly made a difference to drivers like Eric Tuishime. In the past, when I rode my gasoline motorcycle, everyone would look at me and shake their heads because of all the smoke pouring out. Some customers would even refuse to let me drive them. That's no longer an issue. Another retrofitting shop will soon open in Gisini. It's hoped that motor taxis in the city of Goma, across the border in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, will also choose this cleaner alternative. As someone living here in Uganda, I can tell you it is definitely a change for the better. And it is also nice to think that someday in the not so distant future, all of the new motorcycle taxis will be made green from the beginning. Let's hope so, Sandra. But for now, batteries are still probably the most important component of an electric vehicle. Unfortunately, the process of producing them isn't so environmentally friendly. And that's only part of it. What happens once they're used up? Can they be recycled better? Our next report considers these issues. The automobile has brought comfort and independence to the lives of billions of people. But guzzling ever-growing amounts of fossil fuels has also taken its toll on the climate. We have an energy crisis. Thanks to lithium-ion batteries, we might now be entering a new era of mobility. Because of their high energy density, they are perfect in electric vehicles. For a relatively tiny package, they pack a big punch. 
Uh, for everything in mobility, lithium-ion batteries, I would say they have been a key technology really. The potential is so big in that sector. We, we get su such a scale in the, in the production and that brings the, the cost down of the batteries. The global fleet of electric vehicles is predicted to grow immensely over the next decade, from around 8 million to 116 million. This means the demand for lithium-ion batteries will also shoot up and this is where we might run into some problems. Of course it has a cost. We need materials to, to produce the batteries and in any extractive industry uh, has an impact on the environment. Lithium is, as you probably guessed, pretty central to making a lithium-ion battery. About 50% of the world's reserve of this alkali metal can be found here, in the so-called lithium triangle across Argentina, Bolivia and Chile. Mining it involves pumping salt water from underground lakes into pools and letting it evaporate, a process that could harm the surrounding soil, drain water supplies and contaminate the air. Also, lithium is finite. A study found we could run into serious trouble by mid-century if demand keeps growing like this. And then there's cobalt that also goes into lithium-ion batteries. It's a metal mainly found in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Its mining has often been linked to inhumane working conditions and child labor. People exposed to it have suffered from lung disease or heart problems. Then you have also the energy that is required to, to make these batteries. And uh, especially production of cells require a lot of energy. And this means CO2 emissions. How much exactly really depends on the electricity mix of the producing country. But according to recent figures, making just a small battery for a car like this could cause more than four tons of CO2. To give you an idea, that's like driving a new diesel car bought in the EU for about 33,000 kilometers. The good news is that emissions are sinking as battery production becomes more efficient and we shift towards cleaner energy sources. The bad news is that the batteries are losing capacity over time. So as there are more and more EVs, there will also be more and more spent batteries. How do we deal with them? For example, they can be turned into energy storage for wind or solar. They could also power your next camping trip. And they still have enough juice left to drive a forklift or a boat. And discarded EV batteries are already used for all these things today. We should extend the uh, value and lifespan of that materials by reusing. After using up their, their, their original function of, of that product, they could be recycled to, to as, as uh, raw materials and to produce more products. Let's get out the Lego to understand how lithium-ion batteries get recycled. It often involves smelting, so essentially heating them until they melt. But this uses lots and lots of energy, creates toxic emissions and loses some of the materials. And that's why companies are coming up with new ways to recycle. We've, we've basically come up with a, a process designed specifically for this uh, to have high recovery rates of the material. And the first stage, what we call our spoke, is a mechanical process that breaks down the batteries and separates some of the fundamental materials. Very, very simply speaking, this is what happens. The batteries are shredded while being submerged in a non-toxic solution. This is important because it prevents them from catching fire and, in the worst case, blowing up. Then materials like plastic, copper and aluminium are separated from what the industry calls the black mass. This contains the valuable materials like cobalt, nickel and lithium. The second uh, part of the process is the hub and this is really a, a bespoke hydrometallurgy or wet chemistry process to process black mass into battery grade materials. You end up with the black mass separated into its single components like lithium, cobalt and nickel. So the, the end goal is that as we pull them out of the batteries, we're putting them back into new batteries. And that hasn't been achieved, been achieved yet at a, a high scale. There's, there's elements of, of it around the world, but um, we want to help to continue to drive that forward. It is hard to keep track exactly how many lithium ion batteries already get recycled, mainly because they're often exported. But it is already happening more and more, especially in Asia, where most of them are also produced. And as volumes of spent batteries grow, it will make even more financial sense to recycle them. As science and industry continue to look for ways to optimize battery production, 
other potential power sources are also being explored, like hydrogen, which could become the energy of the future, especially for industrial production and transport. The gas is particularly environmentally friendly when it is produced with the help of renewable energies. A community in the north of Germany is testing it out on a small scale. If only our exhaust pipes emitted just water. As the driver, you know you're the only thing producing CO2. The whole world can learn something here. Our hydrogen production facilities in Wolfsburg could be a blueprint for the rest of the world. And they're proud of what they've achieved. It's fantastic. We can produce it and use it locally. We're in Germany's far north to see a trailblazing pilot project. This region is endeavouring to switch from fossil fuels to hydrogen. Is it working and what is it costing locals? For a few weeks now, two hydrogen-powered buses have been running on the scheduled routes. Several refuelling stations have had to be built for the project. Here, cars can also fill up with hydrogen. What does the driver think about his new bus? 